Come on, come on, come on. How you want it, call Yak or Patron? Brunch with the boys, we gon' give you what you want. And what you don't know, we about to put you on. Uh, come on, come on, come on. How you want it, call Yak or Patron? Brunch with the boys, we gon' give you what you want. And what you don't know, we about to put you on. Yes, we are the trending topic. Free relationship profits. Brunch with the boys, we got high. Brunch with the boys, we got high. Hey, boy, you keeping it grimy, boy. Y'all, what's up? It's your girl, Sharday, and I'm like, listen, I'm almost speechless because finally I get to sit in front of the amazing, infamous, okay. crazy okay. brunch with the boys. Okay. Don't talk about it. We like are that. live somewhere in <laughs> the good. USA. Let's okay. Do it. Let's do it. But can I just give a shout out first to our location, our friends at Birchwood Coffee sure. and Company, y'all. I'm so ready for my latte. It's a and vibe. when these pastries come, it's such a, it's vibe, a vibe here, y'all. Black-owned <laughs> business, black-owned podcast up. with three black men. Oh, and yeah. you know what? I am honored to curate this space for y'all today and for their fourth anniversary. Oh. Can we give it up for that? Go. 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 go black. Get them black. Listen. Go black. <laughs> <laughs> so that means we have been dealing with them for four years, y'all. Yeah. Putting up over brunch, sure. some raunchy conversations, mm -hmm. relationships, yeah. everything crazy, everything you can Somewhat. think of <laughs> from these men. But you know what? They called in Sade to kind of get a little deeper, yeah, get sure. to know them a little better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to start it off with that. So before I start with my icebreaker, I want y'all to go around individually, say who you are, and just everybody want to get to know who you are. Oh, man. I'll go first then. Uh, I'm Jeezy. And um, I don't really know what to say about me. Uh, Where you represent, though? I represent Dade County. Hey. You know what I'm hey. Where's that at? 305 that Dade County. Florida, you know, but uh, we just keep it real over here. You know, I just want y'all to know, ladies, I'm always trying to help y'all. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Right. Everything I say is with good intentions, uh, mm. even if it don't come out that way. So. <laughs> You know, it's a tough love. It's all love. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Boy, tough love. Boy, on abuse, don't it? We already know who Jesus <laughs> is. Like, come on now. <laughs> oh, but hey, it's Mr. Jen out here. Um, I represent 305 as well, but you know, five ways of Jamaica. Um, and I represent the Yadam, you know? <laughs> um, but yeah, man, I, it's, I think about me, man, I got an old school mentality. I'm, and I think these boys are trying to get me. And to think a little bit different, and I learned a lot. Of, I learned a lot, you know, just sitting here and having conversation uh, with these boys every every they, other they, week. The ladies love you because Ooh. you're so accommodating. You know, yeah. you just <sighs> they like the grand is big too. They they know you're on their side. You know what I mean? So, uh, <laughs> man, that's not wow. even wow. like that. that. Whoa, where, where, the that gentleman is on your <laughs> side. <laughs> exactly. He's the all state man. Girl. He's the all state man. Now. Man, boy, all it's state. tough. It's tough. Out he here. for everybody. No, well, hold on. Wait, now. I, I. <laughs> I'm not for the streets, y'all. <laughs> yeah, not, not that. Not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's hilarious. At one point. Yeah, you uh, were. We saved him. Back then, you they ain't saved shit. <laughs> <laughs> At, at what point? At one point, everyone was community property. You know, I really oh, yeah? believe that. Oh yeah. If you're whether it was in college, I think we all had and need a whole phase to really prepare us for the relationship struggles. You know. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Yeah, I don't think you couldn't. Just, you know. That's true. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So who college you is? College dropout though. Uh, okay. So what? <laughs> so who Mark is? Zuckerberg, girl, do you? Oh yeah. Who him is? Right here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's your boy King Des here. It's another episode. Oh, hold on. Oh, <laughs> you're not. You're <laughs> not the host. You're not. No. You're not the host. You ain't opening so it. Today. Right, he feeling some kind of way right now. <laughs> nah, from uh from PG County, Maryland. So all my all my Prince George's County folks out there. Um, hey. I try to I try to be authentic. You know. Um, I, I think people close to me would say I'm a, a pretty blunt person. Uh, I appreciate. That's accurate. I, I appreciate kind of real and direct communication i think you don't have to kind of you know 
estimate a, a guess at what people feel when you're just straight up with them. And so, um, guesstimate. You, know. you say, you say he, the, he the T.I. of this group. Ah. I think we all do it, though. The yeah, proclamation sure. yeah. of the <laughs> emancipation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's we're all really no punches out we're, here. We're good mix. No I think, I think, we, I think we, we pretty much, you know, from a perspective, we, co- we cover a, 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 rod, a wide range. You know what I mean? Just mm-hmm. based on our experiences and who we are as people. So I think that makes for a pretty... Um, a pretty interesting podcast sometimes. So, yeah. you know, oh sure. my God, interesting is everything. <laughs> I feel like I am being introduced to the boys' club or the lockers' room or the barber shop. Mm-hmm. But to hear y'all over brunch and talk about the things that I'm like, I feel like I'm up on one. Like oh, yeah. I can handle these dudes yeah, now because I'm you like, can. you know, let me see what what Jiz, <laughs> you, you know, can. perspective is and what yeah. Jen talking about. So it's like I love it, but at the same time, I be feeling some kind of way. Yeah, mm. yeah. yeah. but. Yeah. It's good information. So we use self improvement always. We also use the things. humor though to help make it digest. You know, a little right. humor make the medicine go down. Right. You know Anything with a laugh out yeah. loud, yeah. LOL. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Will right. Always make, even through text. <laughs> yeah. Right. You can just sell somebody <laughs> out, but you put LOL. And they then be they'd like, be like, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You know what? You know, it takes a, and I'm not trying to necessarily give us a pat on the back, but I think it, it takes a special type of person or a special group of people to do what we do because. I think for all the information we share, what what Jeezy talked about it, we make it fun, and sometimes we're really opinionated, and women may not agree, or the vast majority may not agree, but we really are out here trying to help women. We all have women in our lives that we appreciate and that we love and we care for, and so we want to make sure people are armed you know, with the right information. I tell you, we, we get some we get some folks sometimes that think we give away too much game. No, you know of I mean? course. Ooh. I think of course if sure. we made this legitimately for the men, right? And right. S- our listenership is about sixty five percent women to maybe seventy percent. So I, I don't know where we what left turn we took, but we went down a different alley for sure. Right. Y'all yeah. putting us up on game. Oh yeah. Yeah. It sure. works because we've seen both sides of the spectrum. You know, we've been Indeed. in relationships, we've been out of them, we've been hoes, we've been, you know, booed up. You know what <laughs> I mean? Like so that. because yeah. we've done it all in that, you know, from that perspective, we can give a unique view right. on what that looks like. So yeah. I love that. So you know what? Again, I said today is really to get to know y'all a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Now we have some discussion topics or whatever, but okay, cool. just a quick little icebreaker, just to kind of break the ice. I think that's why it's called an icebreaker, I right? Agree. So. I agree right? With Shake I agree. the table. Who knows? <laughs> So, and you can choose as to whoever wants to answer. If you all want to do it, that's fine. But the first one is, what superpower would you like to have, and why? I'm gonna go first and stay over to trying to eat. We are. Uh, right. I would. I would like the ability to heal. Ooh. Oh, Wolverine. Yeah, that's okay. Good yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, self heal or heal others. The, Y'all stop playing. Well, to me, that's I look at that. As, nice. I look at that as one and the same. If I had to choose, I'd probably say help others. Yeah. You know what That's I mean? Dope. Um, that because I think because I think people think like people think they want invisibility. They think they want to have super hearing. Hey, can you, you not judge? Because I kind of was thinking invisibility. Well, let me tell you so. why you don't want that. Let me <laughs> yeah. tell you why you don't want it right quick. That's not judge. Let me say something. You ne- people don't think about this. You never really want to know what everyone's thinking about you yeah. all the time. It's true. You don't. It's true. You don't. Right. You think feelings. you do. Yeah, you, you got these you friends do. out here. Yeah. They ain't your friends. Yeah. Now right. you know what they're thinking all the time. Yeah. Or right. your parents. Yeah. How many times your parents say, I wish you wasn't here? <laughs> yeah. You were there. You never heard them well, say God it. Dang. But that's, yeah, that, yeah, that's, that's even some, keep yeah. it from the relationship standpoint. I'm in, I'm pretty certain that your relationship would end if you knew what your parents <laughs> over. Like, yeah, you know, and I'm talking about married people for 50 years. Like if the truth was surface, she can't even take I mean? no dick. <laughs> what you up here for? <laughs> oh, ladies, <laughs> and 30 years she still can't. <laughs> Ooh, what did I tell y'all about oh, these boys? Man. That was only one of them answering. So, <laughs> did any of y'all want to answer? If you had a superpower, what would it be man. and why? What would it be, G? Man. Yeah, geez. What would it be? I, I, I thought it was he invisibility. Just, he destroyed that already. I thought it was, and the worst part is my second That's one. It's a little creepy, too. It, I, am, I am. The worst part, the second one was knowing people's thoughts. And then now that they said that. <laughs> yeah, man. You invasive motherfucker. No, the thing is information yields power so yeah that is the, true the yeah. more you know you, you know yeah, what i'm saying the more control you have no doubt. you can move differently no yeah. so i don't want to be anywhere where i'm not accepted i don't want to be around anyone that doesn't want me there so mm. if i know how you really feel i'm out you know what i mean and you can't play that game where you you pacify me that's and, good you know, your question let me ask you a question about that i just thought about this when you're talking does knowing what everybody always thinks of you keep you from being who you really are in the Ooh. first place no so, in fact, I enjoy 
being opposite of what anyone expects of me. Like mm-hmm. I've always that's a rare enjoyed, breed. Though. Yeah, that's I've a always rare breed. Joy out of that. So that's mm-hmm. a rare breed. I, I've, I've been born with I, the I don't give a damn. But you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Characteristic from the jump. Getting older intensifies it, right, and it mm-hmm. solidifies it. But even from an early age, I've always, you know, marched to the drum of my own beat or beat of my own drums. Yeah, both ways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two days ago, but yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, that's a good one. What right, but what what does that come from though? Like that whole mechanism of just not caring. Is that something deeply rooted from childhood, or give me that? Yeah, yeah. I think my culture, uh, the growing up in my household. Uh, we had a big family, and you had to really be feisty and fend for yourself to really be seen and heard. And, and I think some of that comes from confidence, uh, being good looking, educated, successful as, uh, as, a, as society would deem it. And, uh, you know, just looking good and shit like that, that, it just gives you that type of confidence, right. I believe, where you just don't care. And oftentimes, why do we really care? Because some part of us is insecure about anything, you know, something in our lives that I think that's where we end up feeling Dang. that way, you know, so. Um. I'm sorry, but Jeezy a little deeper than what I thought. Oh, yeah, Let me they find always out. Do. He yeah, got layers. He has layers. Do. Let mm-hmm. me find yeah. out. All his layers nasty. I, I get a bad <laughs> name. I get a bad I was gonna, name. I, I was going to say name. he was a thorny rose, but, you know, at the end of the day, that was a little name. too poetic. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, Jen, what would you say? Superpower, what would you want to have and why? I think teleportation. Ooh, that's good. You're so fucking lazy. <laughs> You're so lazy. Why well, I gotta be on some lazy? I mean, though. you gonna? That's what you want? No, I believe least, he has a deep traveling. He has reason. a reason behind it's, it. At least yeah. fly so you can see. Yeah. You just want to no. get from point to point. You don't want to appreciate Dang, God's creation. That's true though. That's at least true. Fly there. What a Let's, lame. And yeah. you know, I had a I had a woman tell me a long time ago that I had the inability to stop and smell the roses. Stop and actually enjoy a moment. Mm-hmm. And and it's forced me to actually change quite mm. a bit because I like, I run, I go, go, you go. You had I the gotta, inability to do so. Yeah, I had the inability. So I've I, always said that I go, 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 wow. and I've I can, and I never too. shut down. My mind never yeah. shuts down. Probably the only time my mind shuts down if I'm smoking a cigar, but like mm-hmm. real talk, like my mind never shuts down. And so I think that power matches that a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and just the ability to be able to go somewhere in a, in a second thought because yeah. I just don't, I feel like why well, I, I just want to cut to, to the moment, yeah. right? Right. And, but I, but I want to make as many uh, moments as possible because I feel like life is nothing but an collection yeah. of moments. So therefore, Ooh. I want to make as many as I possibly can. Oh, so that's, so deep. that's how like, I'm trying to get there. I'm trying is, to get there. See, we getting under the layers here. You said <laughs> teleportation. Is there a reason for that? Are you a runner? Or are you just t- he's a runner? He's a track star. Hey. Nah, he, he's <laughs> the furthest from a runner. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 so he laid, you, he laid out roots in 12 minutes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you want to be everywhere. Are, are you overpleasing? Do you feel like you want to be everywhere immediately? The runner, no, definitely not. But right. the but the com- they 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 speak to it a lot in the in the podcast. You know, the, the need to appease. That's something that is just who I am. Yeah, I feel like genetic DNA. I've learned though, through, you know, the older that I get, that I can I've sliced out. A, part of me for my own individuality and, and it's protected where I right. used to give everyone all my energy and mm. it would deplete me. So I'm not, I'm not that person no more. I still, Good. I still will do who I am, but I, I, I have some, everybody. It's not, yeah, it's I not have some right. reservations on it. Yeah. Yeah. That's dope. You know what? I like this. I'm gonna give y'all one more icebreaker. Let's see. <laughs> Fill in the blank. If you really knew me, you would know blank. Oh man. <laughs> if you That's really tough. knew me, you would know I'll give you, I'll go first. If Are we you, saying about ourselves or About talking? ourselves. Yeah. Okay. If you really knew me, then you'd know I'm about way more than just sex. Way more. Wow. If you really knew me, you know what I mean? Dang, I need to know this nigga. Man. <laughs> <laughs> really knew me. Really knew me. Did you grow up with him? Oh, yeah. Real. In the right. in the same room, yeah. in a twin bed right next to him. And from, how, as all, as all, all you know is it been some sex. <laughs> how could he pay attention? He was caking and wiving chicks from oh, day one. Oh, oh, you, can't, hey, you can't worry hey, about hey. your little brother when you come on. Don't do that. Don't do that. He laid it down I'm smooth. We've been cool way longer. He laid it down like a conversation. Just keeping it real, bro. He laid it down like a conversation. You know what I'm saying? That's a good one, though. Hey, that's so wait for the for so let's just pause for the new viewers right now for this special today. Let's give the dynamic of you guys relationship so we can kind of lay that in there i'm the daddy um <laughs> that's my oldest we call him robbie <laughs> you are not my daddy <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you're so rude 
You the uh, worst he, daddy he, I've ever had. Jen and I are actually brothers, and Dez and Jen are frat brothers. Yeah, so he, we can Jeezy. definitely tell. So, yeah. so Jeezy met uh, him through that connection, and we just been like super tight. Or oh, like, yeah. I mean, we've been at each other's kids' party. We we sent a picture the other day, going back like I don't know, yeah, twenty we, years. We aging well, yeah. we aging well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. For, sure. for sure. I got a question for you, Jen. One more icebreaker. What is the one thing that makes you feel alive? Mm. Oh, one man. thing I that could makes... answer that for him, but I want your answer. My answer is going to be totally inappropriate. But go ahead. It, it better. It better not be money, okay? Because no, it's it not that. that. It's going to um, be eating booty. But go ahead. <laughs> so you know, you're so already so curious. If that's the case, then he's been alive for a very long he's time. He's alive every Thursday, Saturday, he does. Tuesday. He does. If that's the case, I'll live forever. But no, I'm... We I'm, call him Greasy Mouth on the side. She said My that makes face, you sir. feel alive. She ain't say it keep you alive. <laughs> <laughs> Booty will not do that. Nom, 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 that nom. Okay, okay, it's not that. Okay. I think the thing that makes me feel alive <laughs> is actually seeing other people enjoy themselves. And, and that's what I get a kick off of is... Making sure everyone's having a good time Somebody all the time. Different. No, every, no, I actually no, you kind of agree. Every woman that heard that that he's ever dealt with was like, "Yeah, that sounds oh, okay." Right. And they all was. took advantage of it. Oh God, dang, dog! I don't all think that's. I don't wow. think that's and not all, true. And not all in a positive manner either. But <laughs> oh we'll, man, I'm just gonna that's keep crazy. Going. <clears throat> but think about it though: when you give more, people tend to take more. I, and you know and I, mean? I just said that so, from the last and, one, and that's even though your closest ones, your kids. You keep giving, get, they're going to expect it. They're going to ask for more. So I, I think that stands true for a lot of relationships. That's dope. Okay, so the icebreaker woke us up. Yeah, now let's, yeah, let's, do it. Let's, let's take a walk in the park, right? So yeah. what is your ideal dating, like date setting and why? Mm. Like where where is like the best date? If, if she's the one, she's that chick. You, where are you going to take is her? Is it the first date or is it like we've been, we've been dating? We've been dating. Okay. Mm. We've been dating. See if it's we've yeah. been dating. You have to get more creative. Victoria's like, Secret. No, nah, like go create a, a candle creating class or like paint a canvas. You have to do something That's more dope. central and out of the box. Like if it was a first date, I think like if you if you're from the Orlando area, Lake Eola, you know somewhere where you can get nice. great food. You can walk the lake. You know, hold hands, fellas. Always grab her hand. Uh, hoes love that. You know what I'm saying? It makes unless, they, unless they're bigger than yours. No, do even that. if they're bigger than yours, do that yourself, even buddy. if they're sweaty, don't don't even call you call her out on it, but keep yeah. holding them. You're like, damn, girl, your hands sweaty as shit. But then you you keep holding them. Women hands be sweaty. Oh, stop it! Yeah. I mean, they're human, yes, so every yes. human got every oh, yeah. got different the dynamics. Thing, first date, okay, I get it. Some now. people just have like, sweaty hands yeah. though. If yeah. realistically, you Ew. Know? yeah, yeah. So <laughs> if you met a man, great man, everything about him good, and he has just sweaty hands, that's a deal breaker. They got lotion for that. They got, I feel they, like it's no, it's he not can a see deal a dermatologist. breaker. Yeah, exactly. See? I, yeah, I yeah. don't feel like so it's a deal breaker. <laughs> you can clown him, but then we move on. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. See, I thought it was the woman who had the sweaty hands. No, so that's that what I'm saying. For me. Yeah, <laughs> women can have it too. Women, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah anyone can have it. But yeah. I like that area so because you have that club scene too. Maybe you all want to extend the date, go see okay. a movie, or, or, or go dance. Look at your Orlando and, shout and, out. Okay. So yeah, okay. shout Walk out to through. downtown Orlando. Insomnia Cookies, you down there too, if you want to get you some cookies. But yeah, bake them a little longer though. Feel yeah, like don't do insomnia like that. Right. Do insomnia like yeah. that. No, I bake agree with longer. that. You like your cookies crunchy too? They're super like doughy soft. sometimes. They are. they are. I like my cookies soft. I, like, I don't need teeth to eat them. <laughs> there you go. I be eating these when I'm seven. Never more to say after that. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> What about you, Jen? Because I know Jen. Uh, no, nah, I'm simple, yeah. bro. Like I like flying to Lake Tahoe for the for the night. Oh, that is it. that is something that I would do. But okay. if we're talking about just a general date, low key date, I actually enjoy a picnic. I've been doing picnics since since I was a kid. You yeah. know what I'm you saying? You know the history of picnics? No, Please no, I do us. know the history of picnics. So do. don't 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 take the the negative aspect of, oh, of pigments. There's a neg negative aspect. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's what it was all Somebody about. Somebody tell me the damn story. What's the story about pigments? Pick a nigga. Yeah. Oh, shit. That's where it comes from. Um, damn, how did, they, how did they associate? How did that get done? <laughs> well, it, it's a whole back So we just went to get something to eat, and they just... <laughs> <laughs> we just sit on the floor on a blanket, and they're like... <laughs> Go get, nah, it's, hey, I picked that. It's, it's legit, though. It's legit. But that's crazy. I, I, what I enjoy about that is, um, like, I, I got a legit basket, or there's picnic... You look like you would. There's, like, picnic book bags, and... I like preparing something, the thoughtfulness that goes into yes. it, being able to walk to it, be able to walk to a little spot, That's lay it all out, yeah. throw some wine out, and Ooh. enjoy just the, 
the all of this I'm, disgust, Des. Des I know, looks like, I know. I can, yeah, I, I can I tell he's disgusted. Get, no, Des, Des was like, nigga, we going to Chili's? <laughs> <laughs> really? I, I was not. Nah, Des, I with you. he's I a little bit you. better than that. I mess but, with you. <laughs> um, but, but legit, like, I enjoy a picnic, and I enjoy being able to be in the open sky, sitting down, enjoying that shit, yeah. like, and enjoying her company, for sure. That's yeah. dope. So, listen, we already see the dynamics with asking them their ideal date setting. So, I got to hear from King Dez. Like, what is your ideal I'm date setting? I'm actually very curious about this, too. Where are you taking this lady, whatever you prefer to call um, it? Anything I do is going to be an opportunity to connect, like, talk. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Because, to me, I need to determine whether or not I even want to invest time into another date after this right okay. so if we just so this doing, first date then yeah for sure okay. if we just okay. doing something if we just doing something fun and we're not really getting to know each other i might not really like you yeah. right we could do something fun together that's so fun that it occupies that's our time a very but good i don't point. really like Love you setting that's expectations. a very good point. Now it's the second third date and i'm like i don't even like this girl yeah. and i don't waste my time so the activity can't be too dope correct that it, it right. overshadows learning the person correct yeah, so I it's agree. more about you know, doing something like, I don't know, like a small play or going to see a show somewhere, a comedy show or something like that and get some dinner and I just like being that. able to talk, have you a have drink. To be able and, to talk. You know what I mean? You have to be able to talk. That's super yeah. dope. Okay, yeah. so that's mm-hmm. first date. If you're further in, you yeah. know I got to ask you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where, you where is that What's idea? Oh, right but ain't chili. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's hard they for me to say. They got two, two for ten right now, though, <laughs> I think. So I'll tell you that's why, <laughs> not a two for ten, though. I'll tell you, I ain't been to Chili's in years, but I'll tell you why that's hard for me because I think... If you're gonna do something special for the person that you're with, yeah. then it should be it should be going. it should be predicated on things that they find special yeah. and things yeah. that they want to do. So I I would need to know what her inclination is. Let's say she really, really loves art, right? Like okay. she she always she likes to she views it online, she likes to do different things. I might be like, I'm gonna buy there's a there's a a dope black art exhibit at the um the the wow. national um yo know, there's an African American history museum in Washington DC. If you I've have been, not it's been awesome. I've been to yeah. it's yeah. amazing. It's, it's the amazing. dopest thing I've ever been through. Me too. Mm. So my point is they may have an exhibit and that's a whole you could spend a whole day in there, at least two, three hours, four hours. And so get us some tickets, fly us up there, maybe we get a room for a couple nights, we got some dinner. Yeah. To me, if I'm really dating somebody, cause that's meaningful and it's a dope experience as well. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So, Y'all that question alone, it just puts so much color to the conversation. We know who the brunch from the boys oh. are really, like, thinking about when it comes to dating. So I just got to ask this. Dating when it comes to dating and social media, we know a lot of people do the hashtag, you know, like, uh, couple goals. A lot of people put on for the gram and all of that, right? So I just have a question. Do you think social media affects relationships? Uh, definitely. Greatly. Definitely. I think you can use it in a positive light. I think very few couples do. Um, I do think mostly it becomes an instigator, an aggravator in the relationship. Every goddamn thing. I've only had negative. Women seem to have expectations on how a man should operate his own page. And I think that when people are in a relationship, (laughs) they somehow, for some strange reason, believe that you know, what's yours is mine. What's oh, it's mine our page mine. now? So okay. that's All our right. page, but sh- you can't tell her sh- what anything about, about her page. page. Hell yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> We said that in unison almost. And, and let me tell you the thing about social media. It's so weird. You, you get caught up in the wrong thing. If you post a picture of your mom on her birthday and then you, your girl's birthday come and you may not post that day. Uh, you, you dead, Nick. No, dog, I got, you know, I got an example of that. I t- and listen, I was, I, was with, I was with this woman, right? Literally, like, went all out, complete gent style, like, curated menu. Sucking at a, toes. Yeah, I know. That, no, yeah. no sucking Expensive toes. Yeah. Yeah. No, no sucking toes yet. Nibbling on that boot. <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't even involved, <laughs> bruh. I wasn't even involved. But basically, curated a menu, got a limo with all we, her friends. We know, sent, nigga, all the works. Yeah, yeah. Sent, sent it to yes. the club, all that stuff. Yeah. VIP, all that stuff. I'd spent, I don't know, $1,500, something stupid, yeah. right? Can't, I remember that. Yeah, you spent dog. A lot. And let yeah. me just tell I you, bro. Talk him out of some of it. <laughs> yeah. When when I didn't post something that said, you know what, happy birthday to you. You're the best thing that's that ever happened into my life. Yeah. Um, you, 
Dog, she gave me the business like I, like nothing that oh. I did. All the thought that I put into that. Why? Because it's perception. non-existent. Because it's, it's all perception. about putting That's on. What it is. That's it's what it is. It's putting on for the city. But, but you know listen, what I'm saying? The things that were good that happened to her, yeah. it didn't really happen because no one experienced it wow. but her. Wow. Like, and her friends, though. And eight other people. And eight other people. No, that she need uh, eight million post, people. Post that shit while you was there. Yeah. Wow. Get on the Insta- Get on the gram and post your friends while you were there. That's enough for me. That's crazy. But it's facts. It's almost like people need others to to validate who they yeah, are. this junk is crazy. It's like, it, you can't prove it if it's not posted. Yeah. Live your life. Like, stop trying to put on. So, I you know what? It kind of brings me to this. Are you men that enjoy that new trend of this whole pretty girl, material girl, city girl? <laughs> I just have to ask brunch with the boys. That's like, a lot, there's a lot of different girls you, in there. We might have to break yeah, down. I, those I'm a lot not of sure I know how to so even answer I, that. I girls think enough. It's, it's like... You know, city girls. You got Carisha. You got, you know, JT. And then you got the pretty girls, which is Sweetie and, you know, Meg. And then you got the material girls. And don't sound like all the same women. (laughs) Based on the examples you gave, those are all the same women. Yeah. I love him. You know, I I don't know if you you say on. I I just, I think every man wants a real woman. Mm -hmm. Man, you, you want your girl to look good, but you don't want her to prioritize her beauty over the things that actually matter in your relationship. Right. You know, but to some extent, every man wants a trophy. So if you're asking me if I want a pretty girl, if you, if I want a girl that tries when we go out and not a girl that just throws some shit on when we go on somewhere, then hell yeah, I want a, a, a pretty girl. You know what I'm saying? Cause I want my chick to look bad and represent me. Cause when her friends see me, they're going to be like, all right, girl, I see what you're doing. I want my friends to give me that head nod. If the man can't get a head nod, then you slipping, girl. What about this nod? Oh, that. no, no. Yeah. You, know <laughs> you know that look. That's that, that's that disapproval. You don't want that. <laughs> but if you don't walk by with your girl and, and the next guy be like, all right, man, I see. Hey, you. when I see that and I'm and I and, you ain't, you and we meet it. eyes, dog, yeah. I, I, I be like, I appreciate you, bro. Yeah. yeah. I see it. Yeah. Okay. You really so, you would. know, listen, the, the, the trend of female energy is like on a big rise. So you got the city girls, you got the Megs, you got the Lottos, you got the Nicki Minaj. I want to know from personality rise, which do you all like? Whether it's a Lauryn Hill or a Queen Latifah or a Rhapsody. Queen, like Queen Latifah don't like dick, so we're going to take her off. Take so we're going to take her off then, okay? <laughs> she <laughs> might come back to it. We don't know. She's going to come back. <laughs> so when it Probably comes not. to your she... genre, I want to kind of dot line that to your preference of... D, I'd love I'd love to hear D's uh, type of woman. I want to so, hear But D's. name it as a female artist. Man, I- I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not that cool. Like I don't know. You said a lot of. You don't know enough is. people. I don't know who any of those people. <laughs> so are. even if you think of the Lauren Hills or the Foxy Browns, yeah. like or Kalani, uh, or Kalani, is she cute? Uh, I'd probably go. <laughs> man, you know, you know who seemed like they got a vibe that I really. I, I'm not talking about looks and like that. She's yeah. beautiful, but I'm just saying like vibe. Like Jasmine Sullivan, you, that kind of. Okay, that's you know a good one. That like is I, a good one. I'm, I'm shocked like, you went that. Well, because I like. She's been breaking out windows super, and stuff. Yeah. I'm, I don't like chicks that get. I don't like her like violence. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. was like back in the days. Like I think she, she happy now. That's, that's graduated. That's still yeah. in her. That's still in her. <laughs> yeah, she. So matured. Jasmine Sullivan, I love that. She's so jazzy. Yeah. She's she's definitely coming to herself, and she's so underrated because she's super talented. Yeah. So I love that. Yeah. I get that. Okay. I, I got mine. I think I go Who's with Janae Elko. Ooh, first of all, you got your name right, nigga. Yeah, 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 whatever. Yeah, yeah. All I know is the girls don't like when you call them the wrong hey, name. Listen, yeah, that's right. true. That's or fact. Pronouns. I, I have a Facts. different first name. Don't act like so that. So I can it. appreciate her unique name. That being said, I'd marry her tomorrow. I don't even need to love know her it. middle name. Very like, I love her vibe, man. Like overall, you know, she the type of chick look like you can take her to church, take her to the strip club the night before. You know what I'm saying? She'll go handle business with you and then come home and smoke a blunt with you. You know, suck you off while you're watching a basketball game. Like, somebody you can love. Love you know? it. Somebody Don't y'all love. just get their somebody vibe just from them describing yeah. it. So, okay, we got to end it off with Mr. Jen. Who, who, who's your artist? Man, it's, it's, this one's a tough one, man. I know. Um, oh, let's get it. Patty LaBelle. Let's get it. God yeah. damn. <laughs> <laughs> he do like them all, don't he? He they do like them all. They be trying you down. Oh, they be, go, they be going <laughs> in, dog. You're right, hey, you're right. hey, you get that, you're right. you get that knife you out my back real quick, bro. Diana Ross. Diana Ross. Diana Ross still looking you, good though. You know she, yeah, <laughs> she looking good. And them lips though. Um, um, she no, for real. Vanessa Williams. No, but she was fine okay. too. She was, no, she no, was that. Fine. No, don't okay, listen Vanessa to that. Williams? 
yeah. Do not yeah, listen to it. You always talk not, about it. You don't like it now? You are lying your ass okay, off right now. Lie. And the fact that you're buying into this. Go ahead and choose, because she God, better be older. I gotta see these comments. She better I be bet older. Crazy. Dog, I'm thinking, I'm older. thinking Megan Good feel. Oh, okay, like, but, can we I say need, to the artist? Though? Oh, you want me, like, you want a singer singer? Yeah, okay. Because it gives us more I color you were in the vibe. Megan Stallion. I was like, bro, you couldn't handle me. Uh, you, uh, hey, don't I tell me what I can handle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like them thoroughbreds. Yeah. Yeah, you like, yeah, you like. definitely a stallion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like them big and thick. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You do. You like them. If it's an artist, probably. Probably Nikki, actually. Okay, Nikki well, Minaj. Really? The Island, oh, Island, it, Island Field. No, I I'm just not telling you. That Island from Field. It, just said well, Island Field. The, energy, the energy. The yeah, energy. Yeah, really I love her energy. She swallow you alive, bro. So how you know no she way. gonna swallow me? And, 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 and how do you know I don't want that? No, I was I just mean, about to say that. That's yeah. what you want. You're right. You're right. You put your face between that ass, you disappear. Hey, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I can't you see know it. what? I don't mind setting up shop. Yeah. Man dies oh by my suffocation. Gosh. News is six. Dies with a smile on his face. Oh, too. my gosh, y'all. Man, I yeah. yeah. I, like, <laughs> I can't wait to get these com- to these comments oh, or comments. our what's live that, audience that's with, with us. Listen, we got some comments on here, too. Let's um, see. My, I think uh, Mariposa Latina, she said something about... Um, th- and this is just going back a, a couple questions, but she talked about the social media, and she talked about... Her man and her being together for seven years, them not being each other's friends, and it works for them. Girl, and I'm gonna be honest with you, that's the best that, way. that works. But bless I didn't, up. I didn't comment on that. What I was gonna say was, it, you got to establish that shit from the jump. So like, I, I'm not, I don't do a lot of social media anyway, so it doesn't that doesn't hurt me or help me either way. But if that's something that's important to you, and it seems like it works in her relationship, that's something you should discuss because you're gonna you're gonna see things that are gonna make you upset, and there's nothing behind. But them. some people were together before social media really hit. You ain't got to be friends. Yeah. And and I really think that that works because we we act like when we're in a relationship, nobody is we cute. lose our, right. our individual ourselves. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and I think you should have space to be you. I don't want my girl doing everything with me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Work. Like, and you had to make your face yeah, up when you said that. Like, like, I don't like that. Like, this shit was screwed up. Business girl, like why you always? You know what I'm saying? I want to miss. Get a life. You know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, seriously, but you know what? I've never he, been the type like that. He the he the, he the last nigga on this group that's gonna tell you get a life. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah. I'm different. Like, oh, that. you're going there. I'm coming too. Yep. That. Oh, I'm gonna bring you. Why shouldn't? Oh, we're going out with oh. the boys, but you can come. <laughs> Listen. This is so. Listen. It's, it's got, it's got, let me. Let, come on. Hey, don't worry. But are y'all are, y'all are y'all gonna allow me to bring some context it's into it? No context, bro. Okay. No context it's then you know what? Be just we're like, regularly hey, surprised. Why, why, why is she here? Bro? I'm so tired we're, of this. I'm gonna really flip this motherfucking table ahead. over. I'm done. I'm done with this. No, I'm done. I'm done, son. I'm done, son. Okay. Please. Listen. Yep. Come on. I've tr- I want to hear this. Okay. I can tell you. Come on. I've tried it the whole other way, bro. Okay. Let's just be honest. I was married for a, while, a long time. Never took her anywhere. Hey, God, hopefully she ain't listening. I never took her anywhere, right? No. And I, to be honest with you, hey, say something. Can you say something real quick? Yes yeah, or no? You ain't got to the, the point yet. No, you say, haven't. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. So, so the point <laughs> is, I've tried it that way, and that shit ended in divorce, and Pretty shitty one wow. at that. So I said, man, if I find a chick that think All like right, a man, you, that she think it, like a man, it, it, and then I'm going to spend it. more time with her, solid. and she's this my best solid. friend, this and she's okay, my best friend, then guess solid. what? That's what I want to do because now. Because it's 24 fucking hours in a day. Yeah. And so let me, I'm going to keep it real. And so and, let me lower my voice because I don't want to make it seem like we have a problem. We're yeah. razzing him because we yeah. love each other. So there's no issue here. But the thing is this. We don't hang together every day. We yeah. don't hang together every other day. We don't hang together every three days. Yeah. We get okay. together once a week sometimes, yeah. right? And so if we're requesting four hours, five hours. And your girl live with you, bro. <laughs> straight up. My girl don't live you, with me. For you to hang out with your oh, friends. Why you, gotta bring the, why you got to bring your girl the four or five yeah. hours you hanging out with your friends? Wow. You got the rest of the, you got the whole damn, we don't hang out to the evening. Yeah. You got the whole damn day. You got Sunday. You got the rest of the week. Thanks. Why you got to bring them here? Yeah. Yeah. That's good. That's Listen, a good perspective. And, no. And, and she may not live with you, you know, so when I say she lives with you, it's like because you see her so often, yeah. it's like you the, live. So here's together, the point. You know? And and I made my point, I stand by it. Listen, if you want if you want a if you want a decent relationship, you got to have a best friend. You got to make a best friend out of a bitch. Okay. And that's the real that's the real shit. And, and, At the end of the day, that's what you're saying. Because, because you're, you're thinking, I travel well, no, 70% me, of the time. Let me so at the end of the day, there's no way I could have been. You win, man. I'm just saying. I, I'll, take my, crazy. I'll take my win. I'll take my win. And to keep it real, too, though, 
We want you to be happy. So we're, it don't sound like really it, nigga. That's no, not what we do. do. So what don't you're do saying that. is, don't if you do don't bring your girl when you hang out with your yeah, friends, that, that, then you ain't living the best. You but that's the best not what I'm with. saying either. That's what the hell but it that, sound you like. You just contradicted yourself. <laughs> what I'm, dude, because I don't bring her every time I go somewhere. And number two, I'm in. I'm barely in town ever. No, this I've, is, I haven't this, been in town ever in 20 years. This bruh. is actually so a good thing. thing. I'm glad that we got here because that nigga, uh, that nigga in his feelings. And this is raw I'm, emotion. I'm, it's so I'm, good. It's I'm raw def, emotion. I'm right definitely not in my feelings. Don't from a this woman's shit. perspective, Listen, yeah. the only thing I'm is into good, is, yeah. is this motherfucker. I want to end with this. I am not a woman that wants to be around the boys. Yeah. Like, so it, it just really depends. There are women that do like that, though. No, nah, yeah. I'm good. I'm good on that. Yeah. Like, I'm real good on that. But <laughs> we're going to go to the yeah, next we move on. question. Let's move <laughs> Y'all on. Y'all ain't shit. We didn't already walk up. Can we didn't walk through the there? park. <laughs> hey, can you raise the volume on my thing so when I say they ain't shit that it, it, it resonates a they little heard, bit? They like, heard. They okay. heard. Mm. Nobody shit disagrees. Is like. <laughs> Nobody would disagree. So Oh, gosh. Okay, let me lighten the mood. So I want all the smoke after this. Though. Out of friends <laughs> and family, whose relationship do you admire the most? Mm. I'd have to go with my parents. Uh, That's good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they've been through some shit. You know what I'm saying? And between health issues, infidelity, you know, even having a baby on you, you know, how, how can you come back from that? You know what I'm saying? Wow. So for you to be able to get through that and stay married for 40 odd years. And, and, and it's funny because I talked to my mom the other day about this. I was like, do you like my dad? Like I started asking her questions you'd mm. ask a real chick. And I was like, mm. mom, you know, like if everything didn't go south in this way and that way, like you really liked him. Like, and she was like, man, I just love being around him. He understands me. And, this, and she gave me a little breakdown. And I was like, mm. man, you know, it, they got something Real. solid. And yeah. because it's solid, even though horrible things happen, they were right. able to find their way back. So it just goes to show you if you choose wisely, you know, choose that ride or die, you know, y'all can get through it. That's mm -hmm. dope. I don't think nobody can top the parents. Yeah. So can't, can't, I'm with you on that. I, I love, I love that. Word. Okay, what is more important in a relationship? An emotional connection? Or physical connection. Don't ask me first because I know they're gonna assume my answer. So I'm not assuming shit, ahead. but I, but ahead. but I would say, here's what I would tell you. I, I would say a uh, uh, an emotional, and to me, I, I take that as mental as well. Yeah. But that connection, I think it's because here's the thing, you're gonna be with a motherfucker. There's always gonna be beautiful women and and, and gorgeous men. Facts. Like, there's always gonna be that. So if that's what your relationships and your eyes predicated on, yet it's always gonna be hard for you to maintain a relationship you want because that's what that's the primary thing to you. But if it's how you connect with another person, how they make you feel or make you think a way that nobody else does and when you're not with them, right. you miss that, then to me, everything else you can work on. Yeah. Right? You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. that's why you see people mostly somebody no seriously though, yeah. and I know you're gonna have a different perspective, but you may. But you might see people say, they'll see a beautiful woman or a beautiful man and say, why are they with that person? And they assume because that hmm. person physically doesn't look like this person, they shouldn't be together. They don't know what they have. Yeah. They, got, they got that shit that you don't know about. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I agree with that. That's good. I actually agree with I that. I love that. Wholeheartedly. And okay. I, I, I don't have a rebuttal. I've always said this, and, and part of my French, but you fuck her mind first, and the pussy will follow. And I firmly believe pew, 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 that pew. in order for you to connect <laughs> physically, mm -hmm. you have to connect emotionally. And I don't even want anything superficial, you know, uh, like that. If if we're gonna be intimate, I want us to be close. And you have to establish an emotional connection in order. That's to That's good. That. That's dope. Y'all kind of finding a common ground on that one. Yeah. Where yeah. you feeling we with really, that one, Jen? Be real. That's know yeah. that's already. <laughs> no, I have nothing else to say emotional on that one. I, I, yeah, emotional. But physical for me is probably a little bit more important than oh. emotional. And yeah, yeah believe me. I'm so utterly but, surprised. But, but, but I'm going to say something. I'm kind of surprised. No, I got to hear this. But, but, no, but, no, but, but I'm just, because Love for it. me, for me, like, I feel like, man, I like, emotions is a good baseline. But for me, that physical touch, and it doesn't need to be, you know, having sex all the time. That's how I feel connected, right? So just the being around, um, being in the presence of okay. uh, just, you know, touching. Just, I'm getting love language vibes. Yeah. Are we talking yeah, about, yeah, are we talking about, about maintenance? Clarify. Are we talking about maintenance of a relationship? Or are we talking about establishing a relationship? No, just what's more important okay. in a relationship. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Maintenance. I stand on what I said. I yeah. mean, yeah, and yeah. I think I do as That's well good. because I know – with one the other follows so i mean i know i also i also legit know that i don't 
I don't really have sex until I eat get, that cobbler. Yeah, until I get an emotional <laughs> connection. Yeah. But once I get my emotional right. connection, for sure, yeah. It's, That's it, dope. It's, it overrides everything after that. I was not expecting that. But you know what? I can respect your honesty and your transparent. Like, everyone wants to hear emotional and everyone has some, yeah. some dialect on why it's that. But so, men are very physical very. creatures. Very. So I love having one of you say physical is also important. Now let's not forget that. Uh, listen, it so overrides. It yeah. just overrides. As soon as that's you get dope. the emotional one, it just I overrides everything that. at that point, right? Any intelligent man will focus on the emotional. He knows that is what's most important. Mm -hmm. But if you think for a second you can come around me with that <laughs> slack ugly shit, hey, hey, go on somewhere, guys. Go on. Get him black. I do not want it. Dez get him black. Go black. I do not, I get do not black. want it. My head Listen, <laughs> my I just head I gotta good take and you looking uh, slack as shit. Birchwood coffee. Yeah, so is y'all feeling y'all lattes, y'all teas, oh, y'all yeah, coffee? The, the, the pastries. Point. Uh, he was yeah, on point. the uh, y'all definitely have to check the this peach location cobbler out. is on point yeah. for sure. Yeah, it is. What? It is. Based and on the palm of uh, tea too. Yeah, based on the way that pound cake disappeared. From right. There, I want y'all to know. It. I want y'all to know. I'm taking my pound cake home tomorrow. Tomorrow is my cheat day. Love it. And I'm gonna cheat like a dirty whore. But today I'm gonna remain strong, disciplined. I'm, I'm straight. Yeah, 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 yeah. I eat oh, that pound cake. Yeah, I ain't gonna change nothing. You, you said you eating the pound cake tonight too? No, I ate the pound cake already. But okay, but you eat more tonight. No, 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 no. Oh, that's okay. it, man. Okay. I ain't even ate today. That's the first thing I ate. Oh yeah. <laughs> Boy, okay. Talk about two different foods. But go ahead. So listen, we both nutritional though. <laughs> 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 hey, just know, it Jack, like my peach cobbler is gone. Yeah, yeah. I mean, do it's, 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 it's gone, gone now. No, hold on, hold on. He kept scooping hold it over. I'm like, bro, just take the I damn. Just take the plate, bro. It, bro. There was no need. Yes, to I did say. Listen, you she told me I could have it, and, and she then said she called you out. Listen, it was between us, and I wasn't loud. Gave me a look. Yeah, and then you just yeah. tried to blast me like that. Man. Said, I'm still gonna eat it, but I'm still the same about pressure, pressure. She said. She said she felt peer pressure. You know what I'm saying? You're a big man. Did, black man say, "Give me that copper." I did ask Give me that copper. I did ask. He gave early. me a look like. I mean, it's just sitting here. It's yeah. just sitting here. <laughs> Listen, I have to know this, and I said, you know. It's so important as women for us to kind of know how men are. Are they always just these masculine, you know, testosterone and these beasts? And, you know, they have a different approach. They're really not nurturers and more the disciplinary. So I had to ask these awesome three men, do men have insecurities? And if so, what are they? It doesn't have to be specifically what yours is. It could be something that you've experienced or seen. But we want to hear about that. Like, give us that. Let me take. I, I'll take this. I think I have a unique one. Mm -hmm. I think over the course of my life, I've grown to where I don't have a lot of physical insecurities. But what I would say is I have kids and I always am worried about, am I doing everything I can be and everything I should be to make sure that yeah, I'm, sure giving, for life. I'm giving them the best tools they can to be successful. Yeah. I constantly second guess my decisions sometimes, not to others, but just to myself. Did yeah. I do that the right way? Should I have done this? Yeah. Should I have done this? Wow. That's a good thing, though. That's so, a good thing. Self-assessment. That's, that's my. That's that my Honestly, that That's leads to good. success. That's a good one. That's so good as a father, knowing, am I giving my children everything they need to be successful? Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. And having an intangible thought or not necessarily insecurity, but second guessing did you like, handle it right did i handle yeah. that right mm -hmm. yeah oh that's good these are important relationships and, and you're building them now for later right when they get older are their kids going to call you it, well that's being determined right now yeah right wow yeah. <laughs> facts facts yeah that's, that's good. for sure y'all got anything to add to that i'm no nah, but i would say for an insecurity for a lot of men i would believe is about being insufficient and yeah i was about to say the same thing yeah, and not enough be, yeah you know what I'm and saying? not necessarily because he believes that he isn't because you know if you do then that's something different that's a whole nother but just thing. more so knowing i think uh, all of us we've accomplished everything we we should have education career what wise you know all that's going to grow still and change but we have no real faults in that way but right. you still want to know if, as in regarding to your partner that you're enough that you know who you are is enough and if i didn't make this money if i didn't have an eight pack you know what i'm saying and, uh, you know, I think like it's that. even more than that, though. But go That's ahead. Can I ask a question to that, though? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Shouldn't that be something that you determine that before you're with that person in that situation? What I mean by that is mm. part of my vetting out process when I'm getting to know somebody or I'm determining whether or not I'm going to be in a relationship with them is if they solid as fuck. Yeah. And to me, not being out on a motherfucker because they down on their luck or they lose their job or they lose this or whatever it is, is part and parcel of being 
what I what I consider a solid person. And so once I determine you're a solid person, that's the only way we even move to relationship status. No, I agree. And so that's good. Which, like that's why I'm saying like, should you even in a relationship if you do lose your job if, if you're not making as much as you want to. Should that even come up? Because you should have determined way in advance. Mm-hmm. She's not the type of female that's going to hold it against me anyway. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I agree. I do think people change. I think in relationships, I oftentimes you. people yeah. change. Yeah, they be and, moving that cheese, bro. And, and, I'll tell you that. <laughs> and I'll tell you one thing. Moving expectations it. can kill you, bro. You know what I mean? And, Ooh, and they can change. Say and that they for can, the people in the oh, bag. Yeah. Expectations can kill your relationship, and they come out of nowhere. So the way she thought. You know, 15 years ago when you were just out of college versus right now, she might look at you differently. And people do switch wow. up on you, even mm-hmm. people that I were solid. That. Mm-hmm. So I agree with Even that. building yeah. on the whole thing, or if, if you're not enough, I think a lot of it sometimes is what's the, your partner, if she's pouring into you mm-hmm. enough, right? Because uh, we, we've been taught, you know, happy wife, happy life. And we taught the, that we got to be this, 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 and that for right. a woman. Um, to, to 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 accept us and so forth and 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 be the best version of ourselves. But if I'm giving you all this mm. and I'm not getting none of that back, like to be honest with you, that will start to create those insecurities. And some of the like to his point, they moved the cheese. You you saw it in the beginning, but now you ain't seen that shit. Like I mean, I could call foul play, but in my head, I'm just sitting like, okay, why? I've done everything that you asked me to do. Right. I've set my expectations. You ain't really pouring back, so. You know what? What is it? Is it me? Is it you? Right. Am I but, done? Or what, what's the deal? Like, am it, I, yeah. Does, don't you think that varies from person? Because I would tell you in my relationships, and maybe this is, and maybe this is a self fault that I'm just realizing at this fucking podcast, right? <laughs> but, but I like, I don't ever think it's. I don't ever think, man, am I not giving? Oh, you Oh, we know you, you never thought okay. it's you. <laughs> no, like but, that's 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 no, for but, sure though. But I'm thinking like, the, if, like I'm like, oh, you're not giving me what I need. Oh, well, it's I'm, your fault. I'm, I'm out yeah. of this motherfucker. Why? Are you, why are you here? Yeah, but I'm like, yeah. yeah. But I, I think my mindset is I'm always tough on people, so I'm tougher on myself. Mm-hmm. So the first place I start is with myself. So I gotta look and say, man, bro, is this you? Because if I don't self check first, then I don't have that confidence to walk away knowing that I did my all. Or to go wow. check or, or to go check, check her again. Else, don't yeah. mi- so don't Especially misunderstand me. Yeah. It's not that I don't look at myself. But what I'm telling you is, or what I'm saying is, do you know sociopaths don't know they're sociopathic? Yeah. Right? So, <laughs> so, so you're, you're not always... Are you comparing yourself to... No, but what okay, I'm saying is... I just want to make sure we want the right a- You may be unaware. Self-awareness isn't always correct it self-awareness. Got That's it. my point. So That's yeah. good. I may think That's it's true. no issue with me, and it is, but my point is I'll never fucking know. Yeah. Right? Because <laughs> and we talked fault. about that the <laughs> other day. I don't remember what we were joking about. Just little weird shit that... We, little dynamics in our relationship mm-hmm. that you do. But you're aware of it. You know what I mean? So I mm-hmm. think just being so aware. So you're not a sociopath. Yeah, you're all right, once man. Once you're aware it's okay, buddy. Uh, uh, of the <laughs> the weird ways you move, then you're good. You just got to know how to work around them. Wow. I got it. I got it. Thanks, That's guys. so good. Y'all, so y'all have so many <laughs> different levels, bro. Like, the brunch with the boys is just... It's a breath of fresh air for any perspective. And before I move to my last question, and then we're going to go to the live audience or anyone online... I just got to ask, there has been, because we in this space, we at dinner now, we kind of mm-hmm. a little heavier. Of the past two years, there have been a lot of celebrity deaths. There's been a lot of things going on in the world. Pan, you know, pandemic, COVID, monkey pox, chicken pox, well, <laughs> monkey pox hyena pox, everything, you know. <laughs> That's a lot of pox. <laughs> right? I just want Tupac, I'll yeah. tell you that. <laughs> right? But um, of the celebrity or just, uh, and again, this is not to be dismissive if you had a close one in the last two years that passed, oh, but yeah. just for pop culture um, states. That's a tough one, right? What now. celebrity passing or death mm. impacted you the most and why i can go if unless you you got choice. morgan freeman he he a little, <laughs> hold on bro. that nigga dead he, <laughs> lied, oh, bro. That nigga dead? he just died? looked he just Is looked he dead? dead bro he don't wait he when dead, did though. morgan freeman die he's still dead. here bro he's not dead <laughs> <laughs> you can't I kill god you, though, i was over here he's stupid. god bro though, i was literally over here like yeah nigga died <laughs> he said he got he just wait. looked like that dog he's still alive though yeah that nigga gonna be old but forever but he's been that age forever though <laughs> yeah. like yeah. wait I, I, even I, when he was young he looked old i apologize to morgan freeman he's still alive so you ain't even know you're just gonna talk without fact checking 
if I was a cancel I culture, I cancel you right yeah. now. I'm yeah. so <laughs> done. So I was thinking bad, back and Morgan. forth between him and somebody else. That's the like, reverse Stacey Dash right my now. Bad, my bad. Moving, man. I, I, he didn't kill the man. I'm a boy. I'm disappointed. I'm praying for more. Are you disappointed that he's alive or he's not? Nah, fuck with it. I'm disappointed myself. Yeah, yeah. I'm we praying for you every night, Morgan. I ain't been checking for him because I didn't think he was doing that. Literally. You literally didn't do that. That man's still smoking cigars right now. I saw him on my last magazine of a cigar affectionado, dog. He's still out there. I love him. I love um. That's funny. I, I think I'd say uh, Kobe Bryant. Oh. Um, my God, yes. It was so sudden, but the thing about it that bothered me the most was just that I felt he had so much life to live. You know, he's around wow. my age. So for him, I can't imagine passing and knowing the things you won't see. He had all these kids. And then the fact that his daughter, you know, passed with him, mm -hmm. that just makes it even more horrific. And I have a daughter, so I can definitely empathize. So I would think Kobe, just the the culture he brought, yeah. uh, his love for the game, the, the discipline that he had for life. Yeah. Because in a lot of ways, uh, basketball translates to life, you know, and I love I basketball. Cannot. So you I don't still, know you're still stuck happening. on Morgan, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we were talking about Kobe. Man, rest no, in peace. Was, that was rest in peace, right right Thank you, Gigi. Yeah, Sorry about that, Gigi. Yeah, my bad, man. He should I'm D. Why? Come on, D. Yeah, but. God dang, boy. That is funny, though. I really thought he died, too. <laughs> no, that, Really? I did it until when he said it. When I'm he not, said it, I believed him. I can't do this I didn't with y'all. I think people would lie about that. I thought people fact check those things before they say it. But. Don't, say, say, don't say lie, say mistake. Yeah. Okay. Don't say lie, say mistake. He said, don't say lie, say mistake. I say Chadwick, man. Yeah. Oh, oh man. Black Panther. Oh, that, my God. That one was a tough one because if you know his story, man, Denzel basically paid his scholarship to um, through school, through acting school. And wow. Took it. He invested in him, and that investment paid through. And he took that and he touched so many people and the whole time he was sick no one would no one actually knew he was sick yeah. and he was still like knocking out bangers in these movies wow. right so Fast. his level of strength yeah and 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 he was just, young too and he was young and he had so yeah. much potential i love i hate to see a light go out too soon bro yeah. that's all it is wow i've, I've lost a uh, loved one to cancer so I definitely understand it. it's not cool. So. And I ain't fucking with no yeah. other Black Panther either, man, because I know they're going to replace him, and I'm not happy about <laughs> Honestly, it. Honestly, they yeah. shouldn't even have put the movie out again. Yeah, yeah, they should have. Buddy died. Yeah. So like y'all don't feel like they should recast for that? I no. feel like it's still so much to happen. Um, it, it, it'll never be black... the same for anybody who saw the okay. first one, I, yeah. I think. Yeah. All right, I digress. Yeah. Yeah. My last question before we get to the audience or online is, I have to ask y'all, and I know it's like, Old, but it's still new. It's rising. Don't but talk I'm about like, gent like that. You, <laughs> oh, you mean the question? You mean the question? I'm sorry. I thought you were talking. Vibrant. I'm sorry. Go young ahead. man, full of though. Life, huh? I'm Go full ahead. of life, bro. Wait. Okay. So let me take y'all back on that night of TV history when two black men had an altercation. Now, if you were Will or Chris, how would you have handled that scenario? I have to hear from the boys. I mean, if I was Chris, I would have handled it. No, I was going to say I, I would have took it like like he did, but no, you I can't even. It, it like don't it. even feel right to say it. <laughs> no, I'd have, I'd have slapped the shit. I'd have threw my career away. <laughs> Gone. I'd have threw my career it's away over. right along with him. We would have just been two niggas fighting on TV. Miami Day 305. Well, setting black people back 50 let me, more years. Let me, let me tell you, <laughs> you know what? You're right, but let me tell you why Chris ain't built like that. Cause the minute I told that joke and I seen Will walking on stage, I'm throwing my set up. Yeah. yeah. So we all he yeah. he got his hands down. Yeah. So he not built like he that. Wasn't, he wasn't he wasn't he wasn't built for the square yeah. up though. He wasn't yeah. walking up there to give your ass a hug. Yeah. You just talked about. He ain't looking at the exits when he yeah. go into a store. <laughs> I can you tell you, he ain't that. He ain't but that nigga. This is less about this is less, <laughs> listen. This is less about Chris. Cause any any anybody that grew up in the '80s and '90s, you got fights, you win some, you lose some. Yeah. So it's less yeah. about that. This is more about the fragility of a man's character and his ego right and how it's influenced by a woman right that he, that that he particularly lit. cares about yeah. and i think you know i'm not gonna i'm not gonna purport to know everything about their relationship i think there's enough people doing that but what i would say is i think there's definitely something there and and will looks like he looked like to me in that moment he wasn't very sure himself oh, definitely and i not. think i think part of a woman's responsibility in relationship particularly one that you are married to have been married to and have adult children with is to make sure she's doing her part to shore you up, oh, man. right? To, to bolster that foundation. Bruh, and I feel like right I feel there. like my guys wobbly as hell, and ain't nothing holding. Do them you steady. know that? That's so dope. do you know that most women are unaware of what you just said? Man. That that is one of their responsibilities. Mm -hmm. and, and the worst part is they want it in reverse. They want you. They want you to support them, and, and, mm -hmm. and be, all while they're not giving that same yeah. level. You got to the big your man up, ladies. You know? I think I think the other I thing agree. is, man, Will just don't know his value. 
And if he knew his value, bro, he would have no, cashed I think, out. I think that's no, a if he knew his not, not his financial, like no, his, I'm oh, saying. You, his you think so? I just don't think he understands his value, man. And you can see a lot. If we we're just talking about those insecurities, man. And there's a there's a huge there's a movement there's an underground movement around <laughs> men staying toxic these days <laughs> because they just like man, shoot, I'm gonna take so, care of me. Yeah, you know so what I'm saying? Benefits, right? I'm gonna take care of me now because I'm not gonna have no one just run me like that. Like because it's 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 been like that. You know what I'm saying for so, for such a long time, especially in the black community where matriarchal primarily, like you know, at the end of the day, it, there is a shift that's going on. And I don't think he knows his value because with all the the things that we've all come to find out, he should have cashed out and said, "Fuck yeah. it." Yeah, that's an interesting you perspective. You know what I'm saying? Realistically, yeah. he ho- I hope he realized he's with the wrong person. Whenever someone makes you act out of character like that, oh yeah, that's you're the not wrong dealing person. with the wrong person. So if she's bringing that type of energy out of you, I was actually going to speak on then, that then as a woman. Not the right yeah, one for you, you know? I feel like there is something deeply rooted in their relationship that makes him act out the way he he did, yeah. particularly that night. He's and holding it's just, on to something that was. Do you don't and that's do you don't have no tolerance. He, he can't tolerate none no, of this, this talk is not right to here. Make excuses because for him. Right. But we is. do have to try to find some explanation. It's coming because realistically, I agree with you. Both I of have them that no nonsense man, that's mentality. Dad's so about to have a Jeezy no moment. Excuse. I can see there it. There right is no now. excuse. I'm not. No <laughs> it literally, it looked no. like he was not going to do anything. <laughs> he, no it excuse. looked like he was laughing, and then he looked at her. Yeah. And then, she gave him that you, head. Yeah. Head nod, like, hey. Listen, as a man, you, know, you you have to you have to remain in control of yourself. Facts. And 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 Agreed. like and I don't know if it's because I grew. Yo, know, my dad and, and they know it's got to talk about it, and their dad. It's like my mom's a firecracker. So right, like she will, too, she man. know how to get under your skin and peel that motherfucker back, right? Like, and, and just <laughs> thought, I used to be a kid and being like that. If you smack the shit out of her right now, I ain't gonna say like nothing. you'd understand, like, right? What? I, I felt I, the same I, way, bro. Listen, listen, my mom let me said very, stuff to me. Very very clear. Thing. We're not condoning domestic oh, yeah, violence, and we do not all. engage in that. But I'm saying the level which my mom was was all in this man's shit, yeah. and my dad kept it so calm, and I always admired his level of self control. So what I'm saying is, is that in that situation, we cannot. We cannot use Jada as an excuse, because because here's the thing: you may you may you make be your own the, decisions. You may intentionally do. be the reason somebody acts out of character, yeah. or you may be by default True. the reason that they act out of character. But at the end of the day, they are responsible for, for how they behave, yeah. right? And so I, I can't I can't get locked up and be like, man, it's because I grew up in the hood. Like yeah. they don't want to hear that shit. Yeah. So you gotta you gotta control yourself. And as a man, it's part of your responsibility as a man to be able to do that. Because otherwise, we'd all be fighting on motherfuckers every day. We'd yeah. be fighting every day if That's we couldn't true. control ourselves. Yeah. You gotta control so, your own actions. I mean, I, I, and and wow. what did he even really say? I mean, nothing short of your mama's a whore and she's gonna die was gonna make me get up on the stage and slap you. I mean, he mm-hmm. made a joke about her hair. And, maybe, and she's still bad. And, and she's super bad. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all the ball head holes out there. But the reality is, if you if you know she bad, if you know she bad, Will, then why did that even bother you? Man, I would have been making the joke. I'd be whispering in the ear, you still bad, though. Yeah, you seen what like, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. So, right. like, yeah. I totally agree with you. He, he was tripping. That's and, good. And he's going to pay for it. For the sure. perspectives are so real. And it's so many ways we can go. But, you know, it's not about who's right. And what was wrong is about the people that's surrounding it and how it made them feel. And it, it changed the trajectory of the night and the history that was meant to be placed for that night. Yeah. But speaking of the history here, yeah, yeah, yeah. listen, we are celebrating the fourth anniversary of the Brunch with the Boys podcast. And before we end, I wanted to see what if one of these beautiful live audience, did y'all have any questions for the guys? They can get it to them. <laughs> no questions? <laughs> y'all enjoy it? Y'all enjoy it? Okay. Our beautiful owners here at Birchwood Coffee, did you have anything that you wanted to add or say or ask the boys? No, we just had a good time. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, I should have gave you the disclaimer. <laughs> hey, but they got to come out here and check this coffee shop out, you man. Absolutely do. It's, it's, low, yeah. it's, it's low key and high key to shit. I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm going to let y'all end it's it out in y'all days. style. It's a vibe. Any Sweet. final notes? Uh,. I actually have nothing for the ladies. Realistically, y'all already know how I do it, so it, it got to be. I have to be inspired right now. I, you don't I, feel I think I'm good. <laughs> Ain't nobody's inspiring you no, right no, now. I think I'm good. That's that's a good thing. That means I've been seeing a lot of healthy uh, mm-hmm. relationships lately. That's you know good. I mean? yeah, no toxicity. <laughs> you know, no foolishness. Right, right. You Love know? it. I would just say be solid. Just be be to others who you want others to be to you. Yeah. And and if you can live that way, life is so much easier and one last thing we talked about it and and we talked about losing people and people we've lost in the last couple years celebrities 
enjoy your life and yeah. do the things wow. that make you happy. Don't put off today till tomorrow, right? Yeah. If you can get it done, get it done and, 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 and enjoy yourself because you never know when you're getting called home. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so and so live your life, enjoy yourself and yeah. and be a solid person. That's it. Yeah, um, I would just say consistency is key to everything you do. You want success, you got to be consistent. Uh, I want to thank you. Especially in relationships. Especially in relationships. Yeah. Especially with this group. So I want to give a thanks and a shout out to King Dez, yeah. to GZ, for the consistency of doing 110 episodes Damn, over, yes. over four years. <laughs> I know Cam didn't like these motherfuckers I mean, like that, honestly. Yeah. I'm consistently yeah. I mean, late, too. I'm tens consistently and late. tens and tens Thanks. of thousands <laughs> of <laughs> listens. And to be honest with you, you know, we, you know, we go back and forth on it for sure. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I will definitely say, man, I appreciate y'all. And, yeah, and you love. know, we bring a light to the world, I think. Respect. You know what I'm saying? I think. Love it. We yeah. appreciate it. We appreciate you, Jen. You bring a very unique perspective. Yeah. And um, I use the word unique intentionally. I can't stand And I, I learned so much from you. I learned things that I, I never knew existed. I know, you know, I, I just learned so much from you, man. You're, you're an excellent person. And, and, and two people and, I always not. respect in life, right? Stepfathers, right? Mm -hmm. Taking care of another nigga kid. Mm -hmm. and, and, and niggas that eat booty. Listen. I am not. Listen, y'all doing, doing God's work because I refuse to do it. So you, you go ahead dumb, and you man. take care of those kids mm -hmm. and, and you eat that ass with joy, okay? Mm -hmm. You deserve nothing but the you, best. There's nobody's, there's nobody's booty your, your sample. That's your first time. <laughs> man. Nobody, you, she they had just, to she, catch me slipping, boy. She said, I just got out of the shower and she had been over and scratched her ankle and just right in your oh face. Oh, my gosh. Said, she said, go ahead, but it's fresh and clean. I'm sure there's a booty somewhere in the world that I would, but I can't think of one. I, can, right. I can't imagine it. <laughs> really? Honestly, the thought of it. I'd be so disappointed in myself afterwards. God dang. You know, you, no, when, no, the no. worst thing I we could really do. We really in on this No, note? the worst thing I, you could this do is, right this now. This is typical brunch. It's I can like lose say. respect for yourself. After I ate that ass, though, I'd never be able to look in the mirror and be like, "Damn, you you ain't even jeezy no more. You just eating ass really? all willy nilly." Yeah, you you, you put just, a lot. You put a lot. I'm putting a lot. Yourself. And no, not really, because I'm so fundamentally against it. What made me do it? It had to be a her. I had to fold to make someone happy. To you know what I'm saying? I, I don't know if I could do it. Is there a difference between just just going and going right in, or just as opposed to just kissing licking around, around it? it? Yeah. Kissing around it or licking around it? A mixture. A mixture. A mixture. Yeah, if, you're not going. You're not going in there, but you just you tantalize. If I ever did it, I yeah. could never stick my tongue in it, which I know you do, don't you? I mean, no, why you would you point at me? No, 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 you already said. I'm so done. And you look that type that'll spread you know it what? wide. I can't. So. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm right. sorry, Charday. My, my, like, my bad. My bad. My bad. I knew it was gonna eventually get off the rails. We did so good until the end, dog. My bad. I mean, I literally talked to him. That's how dudes talk, though. That's how we talk. If y'all wasn't here listening, especially on a group text, yeah. You all women, it's so funny. You want insight to a man. You want to understand him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Physical yeah. is so important. You touched oh on that God. earlier as far as relationship. Yeah. But we're not a cultured when we interact so with the other. So physical. Mm -hmm. He is so sexually driven. If you can tame that and, and feed into that at home, there's nothing he won't do for you. Yeah. That's you, good. All of the dating and the things Notes. you want him to do, if you're taking care of that need. Yeah, he'll give you, you the world. Uh, and, and let me let on. me add to that. Not in the way you think it should be taken Thank care you. of, in the way that he has communicated that on he many wants occasions. to take care of. Exactly. Be very because the woman will be like, I'm doing this, I'm doing yeah. that, but that's not what he wants yeah. from you. You got to do what he wants. Facts. That's so, so good. Facts. And take that bonnet off. That's I'll, I'll, I'll end there. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll that, that ain't that. cute. Yeah, that that's what off. it is. I don't mind a scarf though. What's that? Yeah, a scarf. Take the night. scarf, the bonnet scarf. A, take little, a, a take scarf don't. Off. I know the, a scarf okay. don't 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 really. I don't hurt. care. I don't care if you're just taking it off. Uh, However long you plan to do what you do, girl, but you better take it you off. You don't want to know with that? I don't want to see that shit. No? no. Maybe, on a, maybe on a Tuesday, but not on a I Saturday. don't like seeing the bald head chick still put on the, like a do-rag. <laughs> don't do that. We're not going to do no, that. I'm just saying to go to sleep. Everybody, I don't understand. Everybody, everybody I don't deserves understand. the right to be beautiful in their own yeah. way. So it, had not nothing, the, it had nothing about the beautiful. Not, I just don't understand. You said bald-headed chicks. We're not hair-shaming out here. Yeah. Who's hair-shaming? Love us? it. I just... <laughs> You're, you're, you're so, instigated, you're so and, and it's unnecessary. I just want to know why they have to put a do rag on to go to bed. That's a, I don't. I mean, because they, they want to lay it down. Yeah, they want to lay, <laughs> like, what, lay, lay them edges, man. Come on, man. Lay, lay, don't act like that. I got a daughter, man. Lay the yeah, edges lay down, down, bro. You didn't got bougie. Yeah, man. I just don't know. Okay, Come on, man. Old gent from Miami would have never asked exactly, that question. Exactly, right? Come yeah, on, you from man. from somewhere else now. Listen. No, no. If you saw if the caliber of women he dated. With these skull nah, faces. Yeah. Oh, he only had one. You had one hood chick. Every other chick was very suburban. Chava? Chava, Ch her name was Chava. Okay. Chava. And she was not ghetto. She was, she was, was she, she was, she was yellow. Boy, she was beautiful. 
ghetto as hell, What's boy. She ghetto? Nothing but a baseball cap and some Air Force Ones all and the she time. Used to look Standard so uniform. She got Standard. a family now. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to talk about <laughs> how the so Lord blessed us today yeah. and how I'm so happy to be here with each and every one of you guys. <laughs> honestly, though, honestly, though, that's just the point that we were making. Men objectify women all the time. When you're not around, what men do, we yeah. we chop it up and we talk about that. Mm -hmm. I actually have her, my female friends say that y'all do that too. Would you agree? Yes. Yeah, exactly. We do. Who, I know y'all. Who do. look like they got a big dick, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> yeah, come on. Gray sweatpants, hoochie daddy short. Like, so I think we're just more open about it. Yeah, we objectify women. I, I'll keep it real. I, I'll take it a step further, and, and these niggas might not agree because they want to save face. Most chicks that walk by me, I look and say, mm, I try to find something sexy in her. No, every man and does I'm that. I'm never going to say anything. Every man does that. You know what I'm saying? But I, got to, I got to find it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you think your daddy do it? I know he does. Yeah. Okay. Because when I was a little kid, I thought it was disrespectful to my mom. No, and, my dad. And then I never, puberty hit, and I never thought it was disrespectful. That's funny because my dad, <laughs> our dad used to say things, but I never found it disrespectful. I was, yeah, de yeah, I was, you know what de I was I desensitized by that yeah. time. You know, I was desensitized. Yeah. It was his only freedom. It yeah. sounded <laughs> It sounded natural. I had to to, we had to give it to him because he needed something. Yeah. 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 Oh Life. my gosh. As y'all can see, these boys can go for days. Yeah. And I love this energy. And it's all about just seeing black men in a totally different perspective, having conversation, not convicts, hey. right? Setting yeah. a standard for we relationships, educated. not hey. racism and nothing like that. I love the energy here. Y'all have to support these guys. And we had a good time. I was honored to even yeah, curate this We're space so happy for y'all. You. You're amazing. You dope, bro. And appreciate you. I couldn't you. talk as mm -hmm. much as I'm, I'm used to speaking as a host because y'all bring we had energy. Energy, perspective. I was just like, I ain't got nothing. Okay, no, yeah, it's 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 big D energy all over here. But I loved it and Check it was so good. Thank you. <laughs> shout out to the posh sessions. So I just want to do a quick shout out to the posh hey. sessions. For sure. You know who you are, Rev. Just shop up. Yes, and again, big ups to Birchwood Coffee for allowing us Most to have yes. this live experience yes. right here. Y'all mm -hmm. check them out. They are in Apopka, Florida. It was amazing. Mm -hmm. And this is your girl, Sade, and I'm done speaking. Thank you. Hey. Hey. Hey, Y'all come and get that pound cake. <laughs> yeah, that pound cake. That's not the way we want to end it. But I, <laughs> I've been looking at these pound cake. No, no. Hey. We love y'all. Hey. No, no. hey. yeah, fix. fix that. Yeah. Coffee and brunch. We can have our conversations over coffee and brunch. Ha. 